Nine-year-old Jason Quinlan is a golf prodigy, but that's not the story here. There are a lot of junior golf prodigies, even here in the Twin Cities. 11-year-old Megan Welch is one of those. But put the two together and you've got a playful golf rivalry for the ages. She really loves to play more than practice. So the swimming pool and hitting pitch shots in there, great thing right up her alley. She loves to compete. Jason's quiet, kind of more serious, really focused. Um, and then he'll hit a good shot and he'll look up and you just see the smile that just lights up his face. There you go. And that's thanks in part to their mentor who's not a bad golfer himself. See that? Way better. 15 year old Alex Uloth is a near scratch golfer who plays for Burnsville High School. If they want to do it, they got to love it, you know? And that's what, I, that's what I try and tell them, you know, if you want to practice, come practice. It's fun. The sophomore to be got to know Jason and Megan because the three share a common trait. They are what you call range rats. Kids that have developed such an intense love for the game, they'll spend hour after hour, day after day on the range, perfecting the game's nuances. You're too young to be have these words of wisdom, man. You, you, you study this game a lot, don't you? I do, I do. It, it happens when you're out here 24-7. You know? <laughs> While helping to teach Megan the game, Alex got to know Jason, who recently moved here from Ohio and thought the youngsters would hit it off. And boy, have they. We sometimes have longest drive contests just for fun yeah. or something, but. But we usually don't like have it for any money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or candy bar. Uh, we should start doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Both travel the country playing in various junior tournaments and fare yeah. quite well. I like playing games and I like competing and stuff like that. I don't even think I was very nervous my first time because it's like, it's not that much pressure at all. So just who has more game? Well, we put them to the test. All right, here we are, U.S. Open, one hole playoff. Winner takes all, 394 yards, par five. Megan, what's your strategy? Um, just to hit the drive as far as I can and then see what happens. And they play from there? Yep. That's pretty straight. What's your strategy here? Uh, oh, my 300 buddy. yards out? Yep. Well, my strategy is to just hit it right down, try to hit it in the fairway so I'm not stuck in the rough. Stay straight. Yep, stay straight. Not You're try thinking to bomb birdie it. though, aren't you? I can see it. That's not bad at all. About 160 yards straight down the middle. He wanted to hit it further, but I think most of us would take that shot. About 140 yards, pretty much straight down the middle. It might have caught some rough on the other side, but pretty good five iron shot. Oh. So what, what does the winner get, a cream soda or what? The no, winner. No, so what does the winner get? Oh. I don't know. Nachos? Eh, I don't like nachos. <laughs> okay, we'll figure something out. Okay. So the one hole playoff ends in a tie because you both par. So what are we gonna, you guys going to play until somebody wins? Um, this hole again. Yeah. Until someone wins. Yeah. Play until yeah. somebody wins. Okay, you guys do that. We'll be sitting in the 19th hole waiting for you, okay? Okay. What 19th hole? 